All right, guys, my name's uh, Chris Gutierrez, Code 3 Motors, longtime paramedic and power stroke mechanic. And I've got a 2007 uh, E350 by Braun. Braun is the coach builder. And uh, it only has 66,000 miles. It's got the 6.0 turbo diesel. It runs great, doesn't need anything. It's deployment ready. The paint is in fantastic shape. And we're going to do a walk around tour and then. Uh, We'll start going through all the compartments. You'll notice it's got a really big box. Uh, it's longer than your standard box, and uh, it is tall. You can stand up straight, pretty much. Uh, I'm six one, and when we get in there, I'll test it out. But I'm pretty sure uh, I can stand up straight. Uh, I will point out where it says emergency medical services. We left that on there because it's machine turned. Uh, gold leaf which is pretty expensive that would have been about 800 bucks to do just that so you might want it so we left it on there if you don't want it we can take it off but um that is on there and you'll see really great shine on the paint okay so let's start going through all the compartments and then i'm going to pull it inside where it's a little more quiet and uh, we'll start going through the inside stuff. So this, this compartment, traditionally your number one compartment is the O2 compartment, not on this ambulance. This is backboards and additional equipment, stair chair, and uh, it has three shelves for sea collars, headbeds, or whatever you're using to secure your patient's head to the backboard. Here is a big compartment. You could put extrication equipment in here, turnout gear, helmets, boots, pants, whatever, or just uh, restock supply if you want to. You'll notice it has air horns, air horn compressors down there. That is the suction motor for the electronic suction. Over here, another big compartment, and you'll see you could. it's big enough to put a generator in if you uh, needed to do that, and there's a large shelf on the door. And you'll notice all the compartments have these cool little lights so you're not getting your door taken off by a passing vehicle. So all the compartments have those and they all light up. There, There's lights in each one of these compartments. We'll get in the back in a, in a minute. And then this compartment is your backboard. Well, it's got backboard and oxygen. And this has three shelves also. Uh, four shelves actually there's two there and there's two up above and you'll notice it, it can accommodate two uh, tanks um, it's Inside a high-pressure line because you can read you can read the gauge from inside That's why it's got this line on there. Oh, you can actually connect both tanks at the same time uh, I've never seen that before and I've been around quite a while um, usually you'll see like medical air and oxygen. This has two oxygen lines and uh, this the area that this came from they may do really long transports so that might be the, the rationale for having two oxygen tanks M, M tanks so there's that and then uh, and here's our compartment for your portable oxygen, portable suction, monitor, jump bag, all the stuff you're taking into your rescue. And then down below is a slide out tray with three batteries that are down there. And those are good. So, uh, you know, while we're facing in this direction, I'm gonna pop the hood and start the motor so you can hear it run and see the motor while the sun is shining on it. And then I'm gonna turn it around. Let me just uh, do that real quick. Okay. Pop the hood. Here's our motor. You can see it's in really nice shape. As it should be, it's got really low miles. And it sounds great. And it's fast, great pickup, no leaks, nothing uh, weird about it. It's, uh, it's ready to go and run calls. Okay, so I'm going to um, pull it into the garage here just so we can uh, 
have better light for the patient compartment and I'll be right back with you. All right, so we're inside here. We're going to have a look-see back here. And you can see better when this we're not competing with the sun. And uh, very bright, very hospital-ish. Um, we are waiting for two bulbs for, I believe it's this panel here. They're 18 inches long. Both of those are out. And we're waiting for those to come in. And uh, we'll replace those before it ships. But here is a look at the back. And uh, let's jump in and start going over stuff. So, you'll notice, oh, and the gurney is included, it's a uh, Inferno Model 35. It has a track for a striker power loader, so if you want down the road to put a striker power loader in, the hardest part is already installed. So, uh, at this point, it's just plug and play. You just plug it into the wiring and screw it down and you're good to go. So um, there, we got the compartment space here. You can see there's lots of dividers and you can mix it up however you want. There's space here. All these compartments are lockable and I do have the keys. Now this space <clears throat> is the area that's accessible from the outside compartment. So whatever is in there you'll be able to get from the outside. Um, it's got a stand for Life Pack 12, and this swivels if you want to move that around. You don't have to uh, have that there, obviously, if you use Zoll or Philips or some other brand monitor. Uh, you might be able to make this work with that, or we can remove it if you request it, or you can remove it. Uh, but that's a Life Pack 12 station there. Um, down below, more storage. Uh, space down there and then you got a CPR seat which can <coughs> turn into additional counter space if you desire so if you want that that's quite a bit of counter space you could almost put, you could almost put a third patient up there but uh, there's that so um, up above the action wall, we have more uh, dividers, more space there, and there's uh, another compartment over there, and you have a drawer over here, and you can use this also as a uh, writing station, like a little desk, that's why it's got the pl that plexiglass top, you can put pens and stuff down that slot, and... You have a desk, but, you know, your patient's got to be high fowlers, otherwise it's going to be weird if that thing is right in front of their face. Uh, then over here we've got uh, more storage space up above the cabinets. This is also where you have outside access, this is where your portable monitor and suction unit and everything goes. Down below is where your uh, lockable narcotics locker is. There's a key there. But inside is also an additional narcotics locker. So you got a two-fold lockable system. There's a glove butler above the side entry door. You pop that up, you can put three different sizes of gloves. There's additional space above the bench seat. And then you've got emergency shutoff for your oxygen over there. And then there's reach through, a reach through door to turn it on and off manually. And you'll notice also, uh, I mean, the upholstery is in fantastic shape. Great shape. There's also an O2 outlet on the bench seat side. Lots of seat belts and straps for securing a second patient on the bench seat. And there's no tears or anything on any of the upholstery. You got the child seat integrated into the jump seat. And, uh, and then your access for electronics and whatnot is in there. Very accessible. Boom. Lots of fuses and whatnot right there. So there's that. And then obviously you probably noticed 
everything runs off of this VMUX system. This is a Weldon Vista. It's a pretty high-tech system. There's one in the front too. Uh, I usually only see this in fire engines, but I'm seeing it more and more in, uh, in ambulances. So let's get over here. And then you've got a sharps container and trash over there. And the floor is in great shape. It's like the rubberized diamond plate in blue to, ma to match the uh, upholstery. So, uh, oh yeah, and I just I was standing up, and I can stand up straight, but the reason <laughs> the reason why I just kind of yelled a little bit is this vent system. It comes down a little bit, and I wasn't expecting it, and I hit my head on it. But I'm standing up straight right now. And uh, so it's a, it's a tall box. And then Braun, they actually have like a domed top, you know, where it's not completely flat. So over here, we have the home menu. Now, you'll notice right away, we have no oxygen tank connected, so we're reading zero PSI. And um, I, I love that you can see how much O2 you have in the tank without going outside and actually looking at the tank. And when it gets down to 100 PSI, it'll alarm to let you know, hey, you got to switch over to portable oxygen, you're almost out in the house. So let's do some of our, well, our, our, our dome lights are already on because the back doors are open, but let's do left fluorescent. Oh, I guess, well, there's two, they told me there were two bulbs out. I guess there's one from each side is what's out. If you look over there they said we needed two bulbs so I thought it was all in one panel but it looks like one's trying to come on but it's struggling so we'll replace that one we'll put a new one in there and then um, you'll have that plus uh, they have a brighter white light that's available but I don't want to mix match it so we'll match up with whatever they have. I don't know they already ordered it so uh, so there's that um, exhaust vent so if there's odors back here that you're not appreciating, it's sucking from right there. So that'll evacuate any unpleasant odors that are resulting your nasal passages. There's that. Oh, and it's got, I think it has speeds. Yeah, it's got medium. It was on high. There's medium. There's low. And then there's off. Then we have our climate control and that feels fabulous you know what let me just close these back doors that exhaust is starting to uh, get a little rough okay so our you can see there's a vent there and they're all the way down the line there which is awesome because a lot of times you just have a centralized one right there and it really misses the patient. So if you got a patient that's in heat stroke or heat exhaustion, uh, it makes a fantastic difference to have it coming right down on you. Oh, you'll notice also, look what's above the door there. There's a camera and the driver can monitor what's going on back here. There's also a backup camera on the back of the ambulance so you know for your backing or whatnot but you can also see what's going on back here so if you're driving you see your partner starting to uh, panic a little bit or he starts pulling the drug box uh, open you know you better step it up or especially if you start to see CPR or something like that so so back to our climate control um, Let's see, if we hit that, oh, that's just going to turn it off. Let's see, the diagnostic menu. Oh, yeah, you can do, it'll tell you different things about the vehicle and whatnot. Um, but I don't want to get too deep in the weeds with that. Sorry, my phone is going off there. And then let's go, okay, home menu. Oh, right, let's go to the heater, AC. So this is how you control, like, the speed selector and what temperature you want. So let's go up. So that's maxed up. You can see those little uh, red lines there. So that's max, and you've got quite a bit of flexibility to uh, 
you know, really get it dialed in. And then our temperature is, if you look right there, set the temperature, you can, you know, say you want to get it to 70. And then it'll keep blowing until it gets to 70, and then it'll turn itself off, and then it'll, it'll just maintain. And it'll tell you also the outside temperature, it's 85 degrees outside right now. And we got great batteries, they're 13.9 volts, so we've got perfect batteries. And that's for the, the module in the heat AC um, screen. We go back to the home menu, it gives you that stuff. Let's turn off, whoops, not all of that. And then, um, Let's go to suction. So you hit suction. Now our suction is ready to go. If I put my finger over the hole and make sure that this thing you can probably see. And then you just move the, the knob if you know if you want to increase it or decrease it or whatever. There's the suction, and that's how you turn the suction on. Uh, the inverter, so you hit the inverter. Now, you'll notice our plugs are hot. And let's see, where else is a plug? There's probably one, yeah, there's one over here. You can see the little light on there, that plug is hot. And there's probably one over in here somewhere. Yeah, you can see that one inside there. There's also a cigarette plug lighter, or, or a cigarette lighter plug in there too. So turn the inverter off. Let's see what else. If you want to check what's going on with your oxygen, hit that. Um, oh, it's got a timer. So if you're pushing drugs, atropine, uh, epi and atropine, you can do your, you know, one minute or two minute, however you want to do. And then you just hit start and it starts going down. And then it'll alarm, so you don't have to keep watching it. You can go back to doing other stuff. When you hear it go off, and you know you're ready to push whichever drug you're, you're pushing. So there's that. Go back to the home menu, and then you could, if you want to kill the uh, module power altogether, you would just turn that off. It's going to kill the AC. It's going to kill the lights. It's going to kill everything. So you turn that back on and get lights and stuff back so there's that um, you have two O2 outlets there is an airflow meter in one of them um, hand uh, sanitizer oh yeah there's a a little light right there if you're working on your patient care report I mean you know the patient's like can you turn the lights off you can you know get it down like that so it's you know it's dark in here but you can still see what's going on um, and then there's a speaker here and for if you have a hospital radio all the all the antennas are still on the roof all the wiring is still intact so your radio guy basically has a plug-and-play system here and he'll appreciate that and uh, let's see is there anything back if you need to access the back you can just pop those latches this pops down and you can recheck anything you need to recheck back there or, or whoever is servicing your vehicles. There are speakers back here if you want to put the, the radio back here, the AM FM radio or the CD player, you can do that. And uh, that's pretty much it. If the dome lights are LED, you can probably see that. I like, what I like about the LED dome lights is they're flush with the ceiling as where the old halogens, they stick down like an inch and a half. So if you're tall, you, you know, swipe your head all the time on those things. So, and there's two grab rails up here, and then your IV hook. Uh, and then there's a net to keep you from flying into the cabinets over there. And uh, that's about it. Um, and then these cabinets also, they have uh, shocks so you can open them up to do, you know, massive restock or whatever. If you have a big trauma or something, you don't have to slide it through the door. You can open the whole thing up. And uh, and there is a walkthrough. This is walkthrough. The door is right there. Oh yeah, there's another compartment down there. Let me see. Oh, box 
oxygen, portable oxygen tanks. So you can put three D tanks. It's not tall enough to put an E tank, but you can put three Ds in there. And there's that. All right, let's go jump up in the cab. We'll go all over all the Ford stuff. And then, you know, those handles are really nice compared to what I usually see. Oh, diesel fumes. Okay. Let's get in front real quick. And then shoreline is right there. It's got auto eject and it's got a gauge that'll show you how full the batteries are. And they're full. Um, before I jump in, here's the, the door pocket is not broken off. The door panel's in great shape. The upholstery's in great shape. The armrests are not broken. There's no head grease on the backs of the, of the headrest. The, the headliner's in fantastic shape. As well as the visors. There's no chips in the windshield. And, uh, and everything works. And you know, it still smells new in here. So here's the Weldon Vista unit that's up front. So we can, you could probably hear the AC back there. Now you don't. Okay, so we just killed power to the back. And we can control stuff from, uh, from up here in addition to um, emergency lights and stuff like that. 